Well, Salah Bislam is being very talkative in the courtroom today. The audience started with the presiding judge reminding him that at the very start of the trial back in September, he had said that he was a fighter for the Islamic State group and that the attacks in Paris on November 13th, 2015, were not against the victims. They were nothing personal against French people. They were against France as a whole and the French military campaign in Syria. He then started talking about religion. The, the focus of the questions today are about his radicalization. He said that Islam for him was something that, as a child, he'd been taught spiritually about, but he hadn't learned the, the military and political aspects until much later on. He said that he was attracted, very attracted to the ideology of the Islamic State group from early on, and that he felt that it was a humiliation to see Western values imposed in Muslim countries. That's what he said. He also got into a bit of a back and forth with the presiding judge about slavery. Um, he said that slavery um, was allowed in Islam and that slaves were accorded certain rights and treated, for instance, they were not given tasks to do which were beyond their capacities. It's a fascinating back and forth between Salah Abdeslam about slavery and the presiding judge. So the hearing continues as the judge tries to tease out more understanding, more information about how Salah Abdeslam became radicalised.